Blessings on top of blessings out there to all our brethren. For those who don't believe, please receive the free GIFT of salvation. Before we get started, we just want to say, make sure you put the pressure on that like button. Say what you say in the comments and hit that notification and subscribe button so that you can come fellowship with us every time we drop something new. You can find us on all major platforms at u.g.l.yeshua. This episode is called Black Mirror and the Demon Face Syndrome, The Connection. And basically, we're going to talk about a thing that's been going viral lately, which is called Demon Face Syndrome, a.k.a. PMO, and the correlation and connection that it has to do with the series on Netflix called Black Mirror. So enjoy this episode. We're going to get straight into it. So guys, Demon Face Syndrome. I know everybody's been talking about this, so in case anybody doesn't know, some guy named Victor Shahar from Clarksville, Tennessee, he's one of the first people to come up with this syndrome. It goes by PMO. I'm not even going to try to say the name. We'll put it up on the screen because it's a long, crazy name. And basically, he's saying that since 2020, just out of nowhere, he woke up and started to be able to see funny faces, demonic faces on people. He ain't know what was going on, but it just came out of nowhere. Um, when I think about this, uh, you know, there's a lot of shows that are out there. One of them is um, They Live where we get the idea from, because they showed us that back in what the, the 80s, right? The movie. Yeah, the movie, right. Um, the movie, if anybody doesn't know, it's with Roddy Roddy Piper. One of the things that caught my, my interest was when I was hearing this guy's testimony, he said that he wasn't able to see anything when he's looking at like a computer screen or a phone screen. He mm. was only able to see the demonic faces while he was looking at people. Mm. So this came out and there's a news clip that dropped and they started talking about it censored here's the weird stuff i love imagine your vision is totally normal and then one day you see demonic features everywhere on people only just like this what you see behind me now that's a reality for a man named victor shara he has extremely rare yet terrifying disorder called pmo and no it's commonly known as or now known because People didn't know about it at first. It's called the demon face syndrome. People with the condition see parts of other people's faces distorted in shape, texture, position, or color. For Shara, that means... Jay, how do you feel about that? So I think, you know, again, like, there's always the weirdness that situations we see in movies, television shows, have a connection with things that are going down for real. You know, and coming across that episode in Black Mirror, which was what, season three. Yeah, season three, episode five, right? Okay. Where these soldiers are implanted with a chip, right? Or just people in general implanted with something that's causing them to see, I guess, the outcasts of society, mm -hmm. the misfits, the unwanted, the rebels, whatever you want to call them, um, are, are, looked at as having the faces of demons right. right and they call them roaches on the show and i found you know looking at this demon face syndrome situation like a eerie connection you know where it's like what if there were people like pe the people of the world were injected with something that causes them to see others who weren't injected mm -hmm. as people with demon faces as roaches okay. you know what i mean yeah and like the thoughts that I had just with all the revolving situations around like this eclipse that's coming next month on the 8th, right? CERN activating this machine. Right. And like, what is the reason for it on this particular time? What are they trying to put in motion? And is it NASA saying they're gonna fire some type of rockets in the sky that day too? Right. And all the other things and that, and that, that are coming that, out that devil comment or something like that right, right. The devil's comment and everything else and so like it just got the gears going like well what if them starting the CERN machine right activates whatever that is in the mass amount of people because with demon face case right only had what like 80 people so yeah, five, had, or something like that from right? what we know of from what right. we know exactly right. those who would actually report that right. right so you know imagine when they push the button and now everyone in the world who has this injection starts to see others who don't have it with demon faces right. and start to go after them and hunt them. Yeah. And for me, it just seems like when you look at things in the scripture where there's like the persecution of the saints, right? 
And how would that even come to take place in, in the end times? Right. Like, how are these things set in motion for real? Yeah. How would the world do it? How would God allow it to be initiated? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and what part does everything play? So I think just that connection with the Black Mirror episode and this demon face syndrome yeah, popping right. off right now is like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny when I listen to you say what you're saying, right? The things that pop out from what you said, right? It said that this man was starting to see these things in 2009, in 2020. 20, yeah. Right? So that's the year that they started giving these things out. Mm. The C19V. I didn't put that, didn't put that yep. together. That's yeah, good. right? That's so, and then I'm bringing it, I'm just bringing a connection listen to what you're saying, right? Mm. And then you're saying that Black Mirror episode, that Black Mirror episode is called Man Versus Fire, right? Or Man Against Fire. Man Against Fire. Yeah. And it's funny, but like, what you're saying, right? If the Holy Spirit fire and the man coming against fire mm. man against fire mm. now again this is the way we deal with things and we're not stamping anything mm. right. but all these things have a connection and it's weird right you know what i mean yep so i just wanted to yo and that just, just popped the mind like the disturbing things in the show right you see when when the when the episode kicks off they end up having to travel to a particular village mm -hmm. that got raided by these roaches right yeah then they visit some guy's house because it was reported that he was helping these roaches in some way, shape, or form. The soldiers go to this guy's house. He opens the door, and they see this cross behind him. Yeah. And they try to make that correlation like, yo, all right, so we know that you're a man of, like, moral goodness because we could tell by the cross that's on the wall. Yeah. And just like, well, so you go to the Christian's house right. who would be hiding these people out right. of moral goodness, right. whatever it is. Right. And, and and just putting that together in this time as well, where I feel like that that's the way that the world views us. And we're gonna be helping the outcasts of right. that time, which would basically be us right, being absolutely. hunted. You know? I think another thing that's important in that scene too, if you look closely, there's a painting. And be, I think it's behind the dude, but there's a painting of somebody like on the floor. Mm. And you can tell there's like chaos going around um, behind him. But it's like he's the one that's on the floor hiding and hiding all the people from the chaos that's going on. It's a quick thing, but if you look at that again, you'll see that picture. Right. And from the research I, I did with it, I think even the, the painting has a name and, and it has a message to it. Mm. But if you look at it, it, it um it has to do it on the floor and like chaos going on and he's like basically trying to hide people. Dude. Now just just to Rob, I want to ask you something. So remember before we, we talked about this demon face syndrome. Mm -hmm. They're promoting this to us on the news. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So those are things that we Red have flag. to be. Yeah, we have to understand like why are they preparing us for this? Because right. a lot of the times they like to keep things hidden. So why right. do you think they're pushing this? I don't know. I have a lot of I have a lot of ideas. Like Jay said, um, the people being injected with with a chip or something like that, right? Um, I wonder, you know, like him, that the is causing them to see people, you know in a way that's not true mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um like the jab have um you know so uh, our dna has literally yahweh's name inscribed in every human being's mm -hmm. dna right and it just reminds me of the propaganda uh like um whoever doesn't have the jab is an enemy you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so it had everybody looking at those who still had you know jesus said they will hate you for my name's sake right so his name is yahweh right. and 10, his 5, name 6, is in 5, our dna right, right? so 10, 5, 6, 10 5, 5 yeah yeah so it just and that's that's the thought i was just getting as i was listening to y'all talk i was wondering like the chip or whatever it is um the connection with media and how they use media to make the world hate whoever they want them to hate at right. the time you know what i'm saying the persecution of the saints right so they paint they paint they use their media um to paint christians as the enemy yeah. or whoever doesn't have the jab or whatever their agenda is and so the whole world looks at those who are actually innocent mm -hmm. and right or righteous mm -hmm. as the demons right the cockroach now we're the, the cockroaches, cockroaches. Mm -hmm. you know right. what i'm saying so exactly. the innocent the um being portrayed as the enemy of the state yeah. just like nothing new under the sun Absolutely. you know right. so. june because like when we spoke about in the living room that day when we were watching that video the dude was like from, from the, when the eclipse happens mm -hmm. when everything is done everybody's gonna get their powers back. right, right. Mm. now with what we're talking about here the connection and they live and the cockroaches 
there was like different points we had to bring up when we spoke about like I, I want you to touch on it when you were talking about um is it gonna be that when people get their powers back we're gonna be the ones who are right. gonna be able to see through the veil right. or is it gonna be something opposite right kind of like what Rob was just right. saying you know like right. who's to say that that's the thing about this right it could be both sides of it mm -hmm. you know what I mean if God gives us the vision our spiritual eyes when it comes to the, the way people the spirits that, that people are moving in after the eclipse yeah. mm. you know what I mean and just something that it's a possibility the last episode we touched on we touched on the solar and the lunar eclipse and the science in the sky and so we were all saying that we felt like there was something major about to happen right so this again it just feels like something could be happening and just with like 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 Jay was saying when it comes to like CERN trying to trying to start that machine up you know and them the nasa trying to shoot the trying to shoot rockets at, at the at the solar eclipse and just all these things happening you know i wouldn't be shocked if all of a sudden god is like you know what these people are messing with things that they they did this they want to they want to they want to set me off kind of right. thing right. and open our eyes so that we're aware to what's going on spirits in the spiritual realm right. when it comes to these people reminds me of the tower of babel what were they doing in the tower of babel where god had to interfere could it be the same thing as these people are trying to do it guys like, all right you know what i'm saying it's getting to that point you know what i mean right. so go ahead Jay, you're gonna say something no what's interesting is just like like what the bro was talking about if god is the one who's opening the eyes exposing the mm, evils right. Right? right allowing people to see what many believe out there, like the reptilians, mm -hmm. the right. Palladians, right? right? The greys among us wrapped inside a human flesh yeah. right. who are faking the funk, walking around, and and or the aspect of people who are mounted by evil spirits, being able to see that as right. well. I mean, I believe you were talking about uh, somebody you knew had uh, an experience like that. Right, yeah, um, I've heard a few stories though, but yeah, um, of people seeing demons mounted on other people and, right. and and like just spirits going in and out of people and just having that that sight and living with that and yeah. having to deal with that you know right. it's it's wild and and so like imagine not having not knowing the lord you know yeah. they you know as jesus said they do these things because they don't know me you know and the, nor do they know my imagine not having a relationship with your heavenly father through christ and not understanding like these people what's really going on right. so what happens go to a doctor you go to you know these people with titles and they pump you with pills they say you have an issue you're schizophrenic mm -hmm. you have this they mm -hmm. label you like crazy mm -hmm. you think you're losing your mind and it's a worldly issue yeah when, when in reality is a spiritual issue you know yeah. what i'm saying right so. and like to people listening i know like some people may, may be like you guys really believe all this crazy nonsense we understand that this stuff seems crazy right, right? <laughs> right. like we understand that there's going to be the believers who look at us like we're crazy and non-believers who look at us like we're crazy like right. you guys are talking about reptilians and this and this and that but um these things aren't far-fetched you know there was a lot the lord preps us in in the scriptures and tells us a lot a lot of crazy things that went on back in those times mm -hmm. especially with the nephilim right. with, with, with the serpent bloodline and whatnot like even in the movie with Roddy Piper, they live. Before Roddy passed away, um, and I can't, I can't find his video. I done, I looked at this like probably like over 15 years ago. He did a documentary about they live before the, um, he died, and he goes, "They live is not a document. I mean, it's not a movie. It's a documentary. Right. Mm -hmm. It's real life. Right. So, is God gonna be giving a certain type of insight to his children where?" We have the glasses and we're able to see these right. things where the, the veil was torn and the born again believers are able to see these things just like in a uh, black mirror the soldier once the the whatever he did started to wear off a little bit he will start he started to see something he started mm. to see he was like oh these are just human beings you understand yeah. so what's the black mirror when you right. turn the tv off mm. that's good mm. That's exactly. good. That's the black that's good. The TV. The programming. We the TV. Right. And look and look how we talked about my bad bro. That's good. We talked about <laughs> good. how cameras seem to have this thing where they capture spirits and capture yeah. things that we wouldn't normally see right. with our with our sight. Right. 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 So these people are kind of like behaving as the technology, as the cameras, and seeing things mm -hmm. that the rest of the world isn't seeing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah, that the, the, the idiot box all the way. The all black day. mirror. Day. <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing that I was going to say, I was just going to respond to something that you were saying when you're mm -hmm. talking about people listening. They, they they hear us saying 
things and they're like, oh, these people, what are they bugging out? Are they crazy or whatever yeah. the case is? And it's like, I, I get upset when I hear things like that, right? Because it's like, there's 75 cases of that demon face syndrome, right? CERN, this science, this science group is trying to start this machine to open up some kind of portal. During a solar eclipse. During a solar eclipse, NASA's shooting, and you call us crazy because right. we are out our eyes open. They Yo, believe what we believe. Right. They just on the other side and they're we doing got, it for evil. Yeah. We got to play the clip of just like the ceremony. Mm, I mean, right. you good. see this group of scientists right. have a ritual to right. inaugurate demonic their ceremony. Right. Right. A demonic ceremony, got, right. You got these construction worker dancers stripping right. yeah. somebody rocking a goat head yeah. Yeah. and one of these naked people trying right. to please him or whatever doing stuff so it's like look at us like we're crazy right. but right. like these are the scientists in the world that the world relies upon right, right. it's like a video i saw with a um this is evangelist he's he's taking questions and he's preaching the gospel and this guy comes up to him and he goes you really believe it, that God exists all the while he's wearing a, a, like a satanic shirt and it's <laughs> like you believe in God bro yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. like, what are you talking about you know I just want to clarify something for people out there who would look at when we talk about things like reptilians Palladians right grace walking among us and really what it is that we mean right because as Christians, we uh, do not throw in our lot with those who believe in aliens from right. another planet right. Right. or galaxy, right? Terrestrial beings that traveled here on some sort of a right. spaceship. We don't agree with any of that. Absolutely right. not. So what we believe is that there are entities like fallen angels and demons. Right who are in another dimension right. who are coming through into from their realm to ours right. and then dressing themselves up as human beings yeah. and, right. and walking among us and so for christians who have a hard time accepting that kind of thing well why does the word of god say be careful who to entertain strangers mm. you never know when you're entertaining right. an angel right. Bomb, you, right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's good. and just like so take those things from scripture right. and now wrap them around your perspective right. right in the concept of things that we're talking about right. don't look at us like oh you guys believe in aliens you guys right. believe in martians you guys Not believe in whatever no we don't but these are the legends and the speech of the way the world talks about these things yeah. and we're trying to reconcile what the understanding of that actually is and there's witches and warlocks and people who practice black magic and witchcraft, witchcraft and all that absolutely. who astro project they they traverse their spirit goes to someone else's house or another place They're and they cause the spirit, they, yeah they cause they call right through the you know that mm -hmm. dimension right you know Astral what i'm saying so, right. these are people in this world human beings that yeah, practice it's, it's these all things. hidden hidden knowledge and it's what the occult right the uh, deep things of so, satan the deep things of satan right so you guys it's, it's not crazy to think that like brother rob said people can astral projects where they could manifest themselves in the spirit realm and start to do certain things but right. fallen angels can't fallen angels can't <laughs> or or you know right you know what it, it also causes us to bring into mind right the ability that God has to cause us to see things that aren't necessarily there, right? right? Like when the prophet Elijah, right, is is stationed somewhere, right. and his servant mm -hmm. comes in, like, mm -hmm. "Yo, we're surrounded by an army. There's right. an army outside." Right. Like, this is right. good. This and is then good. real good. He's like, "God, open his open eyes his so eyes. he can see." Right. Right. And then the servant goes back outside, Powerful. and he sees an angelic army. Right. The armies of heaven that are surrounding the the physical you know human army right. that was surrounding them in the Absolutely. place that they were at and so you know imagine again if it's god opening the eyes right you know right. like you guys right. were talking about like right. it's just wild Even when you in, think in, about in it john in the book of revelation look at that whole book man he, right. god is showing him visions right. his body was physically in patmos mm -hmm. but he was able to go into that spirit realm and god was able to show him things you understand so yeah. This is all, all, all Bible, you know right. what I mean? And right. this is not fairy tale. Exactly. Right. We're right. just bringing things that may be going over your head to the, yeah. to the light, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, again, 
the way they use the black mirror, the media, and, and everything else, how they use propaganda to make the world hate a certain group of people yeah, at, yeah. Their, at their will. You yeah. know, whenever, right. they, whenever they want, they can just put something on that screen, on that black mirror, right. and out of nowhere, something is birthed inside of you where you hate a whole group of people that right. you don't even know. Right. You know what? what I'm saying? So uh, you look at a person like they have a demon face. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that can be like a huge metaphor to as to what they're really doing in reality. You right. know what right. I'm saying? Right. True. You know, you look at all the ways that that we here in the States have been kind of programmed from the beginning, right? Like our government, right, is a democracy, which is not necessarily the government of God right. or the government of God's people in the church. The church is a commune, but our nation will have us frown on communism. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you look and, and actually they'll encourage us to be patriots. And there's many Christians who think it's OK to be patriotic and follow Jesus. And it's like, absolutely not. Your Jesus tells you, pray for your enemies, love them. Right. Yeah. Don't um, show partiality. So when you consider your nation to be greater than every other nation on mm -hmm. earth, hey. you're right. You're on the other side of the line where God is standing, right. Right. who made all men and from one man put all nations in place, you know? And so it's like all of this programming that, that has been done with us and the unlearning that needs to take place Absolutely. is totally necessary, I especially in this time. Because we defile right. everything. That's why like dictatorship and everything like that is, is painted super ugly, but that's because humans have been dictators, yeah. you know, evil, evil men who have been corrupted by power. But the day that the Lord comes and establishes his government, his law, you know, his way is going to be a dictatorship, but it's going to be the one who is truly just and and good all together you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's gonna be christ so even um with the demon face syndrome thing so this guy that um was talking about it this was in 2020 but they even went further back and said that this woman she was able to see demonic faces too but what she was saying this hers was in 2014 i believe but what she was saying is she was able to see dragon faces reptilian faces from certain mm. people the lancet which is a medical uk journal wrote the following she could perceive and recognize actual faces but after several minutes they turned black grew long pointy ears and a protruding snout and displayed a reptiloid skin and huge eyes in bright yellow green blue or red mm. you know so certain again people, right right, certain certain people. Certain people. right so again people like dragons really reptilians right. really mm. but yeah you know what I mean? So we believe in demonic possession. We know right. that's real. Right. Mm -hmm. Genesis three talks about you know the serpent. You know, right. you know. Um, so is it far fetched to think that there is a specific bloodline no. that is not of the human right. race? Right. Again, we talk about Genesis six, and right. we talking about that. We, we bring this up all the time. Right. The mingling of the angelic beings right. that came down, and and. and they got with a bunch of different things, created a bunch of different hybrid species, right. like. Why, why is it so hard to believe that people can see certain things that God might be opening their eyes to? Right, because Genesis 6 is, is the, I'm going to go back to you real quick. No, no, Genesis, no, 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 brother there. Oh, Genesis 6 <laughs> was the hybrids. Genesis 3 was God saying that Satan had a seed and God is going to bring his seed and crush his head. Mm. So I just want to add that there. So go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So, so we know like the Pentagon has uh, like a separate fund for Hollywood. Mm. They fund movies mm -hmm. right you know what i'm saying so they're in cia they're involved in hollywood right so you, we know that they have like masks that they could put on rubber masks that they fit so perfectly and they could speak you won't even know that what sure. that they're wearing it yep. for example like um biden you really think that's the same biden from, from 20 years absolutely ago it's not, not the same person absolutely you know what not. i'm saying that is a different person yeah. <laughs> so what's under that Mm. If it's another human, or mm -hmm. if there's something else under that, I, I, man, look at this world. I wouldn't be, I right. wouldn't be surprised nothing anymore. The way it's going, nothing. One of the Simpson nothing. episodes, you know, Simpsons always talks about stuff yeah. that's happening. Ripping Ripping masks off and all that. One of the all Simpsons that. episode is the the presidents are reptilians. They rip right. the mask off, mm -hmm. and under them is like a lizard right. person. So, I mean, how far fetched is it to think that, or to you know, to like refuse to think that that kind of thing could could happen, right? right? Yeah. From, from Genesis in the garden, the snake talks to the woman. Right. It turns her from God. Right. And then the early peoples of the earth, right, worshipped like a snake god. 
right? right? The plumed serpent, Amaru, right. especially right. Yep. here in, in America. You know, you do your right. research with that. Like Amaru Khan, like it, you ever wonder where the name America came from right. Right. and do the history on that? I think you put us up what's on that, what's documentary. that documentary? Belly of the Beast. Belly of the Beast. Check that out. Awesome. Belly of the Beast. It, you know, on uh, what was the platform? Uh, Vimeo. Vimeo. Belly so, of the Beast. Dude, I mean, when you look at the, the serpent deity that they worshipped, mm -hmm. and it, basically the land is called the land of the plumed serpent, mm -hmm. like a feathered dragon mm -hmm. or something to that regard. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you study what seraphim are, a seraph angel is a serpentine-like angelic being. Mm -hmm. And so what if there's a fallen seraph who comes down, wraps himself in flesh to like, you know, however they can to right. um, to appear as men easy for them right? it would be easy right the scripture said even satan appears as an angel, angel of light, light right and so like are we gonna call god a liar and say no nah, that stuff don't happen you guys are crazy yeah. right like no absolutely not and then what to think that satan could tempt jesus by saying bow to me and i'll give you all the kingdoms of the earth but he's not in charge of the kingdoms of the yeah. earth yeah he doesn't have like all his demons inside of the leaders who run the nation. He can't offer what's not his. Right, exactly. It wouldn't be a temptation right. if it was a false thing. Right. You feel me? So anyway, when you look at that, you're like, of course he's got the kings of the earth in his pocket. Talking about Satan. And what if he has demons in them or they are reptilians yes just like in they live right he's watching the news clip on the tv in the in the show the in the, in the store right and he sees and he's just like you know right. you it, it, yeah this is exactly how it would be morning in america fresh vital the old cynicism is gone we have faith in our leaders we're optimistic as to what becomes of it all it really boils down to our ability to accept we don't need pessimism. There are no <laughs> limits. We it must figures look it would be something like this. And that's where the shape shifting comes into play too. Wild. There's, you know, throughout my years of research, man, it's like certain things, like with this show here, we're gonna talk about it. Right. I don't care how crazy it seems. Mm -hmm. We don't care if you think that we're just nuts and we can't go to you guys because right. you guys are talking about some sci-fi stuff we're going to talk about it here right because you know? again it's just these are things that are out there yeah it's not like we're saying this is it this right. is a fact right. no right. but let's talk about we're, what's out yeah, there we're right, going right. to talk about everything Why i don't care we, how stupid it sounds like just, them close our ears right, right. we don't right. want to hear it right so what? and it go ahead rob i'm sorry My bad. Just, but it just goes to show the damaged the damage that mk ultra that, that whole that whole um, campaign, that whole right. thing they did with the TV. You know, they say TV will rot your brain. <laughs> That's absurd. TV only softens the brain like a ripe banana to take it all the way. We've created Hulu. Hulu beams TV directly to your portable computing devices. <laughs> Mushy mush. <laughs> and the best part is there's nothing you can do to stop it. I mean, what are you going to do? Turn off your TV and your computer? Once your brains are reduced to a cottage cheese like mush, we'll scoop them out with a melon ball and gobble them right on up. Because we're aliens. And that's how we roll. Parents were right. Your teachers were right. Even that creepy scoutmaster with the tight brown shorts was right. TV is slowly rotting your brain and turning it into a slimy, gooey, mushy blob of pudding. And there's nothing you can do about it. See? I just told you what was happening. And you're still watching TV. Amazing. So here's the deal. Help us churn their finely cultured skull beef down to the aforementioned pudding, and we'll slurp out yours last. Eh? Yeah. Because we're aliens. You know, the next time someone says TV rots your brain, laugh. Laugh hard. That laughter will force our televised intoxicants deep into your cerebellum, slowly rotting it into a quivering blob of tapioca. Because we're aliens. That's our gig. Where they fill us up with movies, for example, vampires, um, it, werewolves. What? What? Um, Freddy Krueger. Yep. What do they do? They they scare kids, um, to to a place of torment. When the torment is at its peak, they kill them. Yeah, that happens. It's rumored to happen, the you know, everywhere. Adrenochrome. They drink their blood. People always ask me how I stay so youthful. I tell them I eat well, get plenty of rest, 
and every third Sunday, I drink the, a virgin. And these days, they're getting harder and harder to find. The fear is the power. Um, Hebrews 2 talks about it. Is um, talks about the, the power of death is fear because they they put you in a place of such fear that you're paralyzed and they're able to escort you to death yeah you know um so it just go, but it just goes to show how the unbelieving world is unbelieving because they have been entertained with things that are actually reality right. so when they see the truth like a vampire movie oh that's right. you know that that's that's not true mm. is it, well if you really think critically it can be true and it is true because there are people drinking freaking blood right. <laughs> what it is is a numbing of your subconscious they right. they numb the stuff that 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 is real they, right. they show it to you so many right. times that you mm -hmm. think and they put it they 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 deliver it to you in a way where like it is fantasy not like just it is real. fake you yeah. know what i'm saying not just so real, evil right, yeah. right right so they do this obviously on purpose bro yeah. and they've been doing it since the beginning of time bro yes, sir. ever since i can remember as a child i was watching these movies and as I grew up, I'm like, yo, start to learn more. So I do more research. You're like, yo, this stuff is true, bro. Right. And they've been doing to it, this to us since we were kids. And bro. what they say is true as history is a lie. Yeah. Right. That's a. Yep. <laughs> right, you right. Know what's crazy and what bothers me the most is like God's people will be quick to shut it down, you know, and there's more open minded people yeah. in the world. Right, right. You know what I mean? Who they won't, they, they'll examine something and do the research. Whereas God's people would just be like willingly, blatantly blind, yeah, right, right. you know, and just cover their ears like, oh, it's too far fetched to listen to. Which is crazy. Right. It's like, don't you study the word of God? Right. There's some things in there that you would call crazy. too far fetched to yeah. listen to. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't trust what his word says, then what does any of it matter? Right. Right. What you know a great, I mean? what a great price, you know, to just be so incredulous. You know, this, it happens with the jab, you know, how many um brothers and sisters yo just like dismissed and and mocked especially that one sister who came on tv and was like yo don't take it a doctor you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and and she was like i, I wore in a spirit and they they, they smeared her much. they smeared her yeah. made her look like a, a loca like like she's crazy mm -hmm. and even christians were laughing at her yeah. you right. know what i'm yep. saying and what they went and did they went and got the jab and you know yeah, when they just come, believe in the lie. Right? Yeah, especially like now that we're talking about all this stuff with the movies and the corporation, what you just talked about with the harm and the arm. So imagine if there is something that's in there that that kind of messes up your DNA. Mm. Like we all know this, these are there's talks about. I've this seen stuff. tons of research. I mean, I think that, they know that, that. that. They stuff, say that stuff is starting to make sense. Now we have two different groups. We have one group saying there's nothing in there, whatever, and then there's another group that's saying that they th they believe it's the mark of the beast. Right. You know, we're not playing our flag anywhere and we're not saying none of it is far fetched. We just gotta keep our eyes open. But if if there if the people in charge were gonna use something, that would be the way to go about it. Right. They took now we gotta talk about nanoparticles and all this stuff. Like there's a lot mm -hmm. of videos out there where you we talked about the black goo mm -hmm. and all the mo movies out there were yep. just like this stuff that they put it in your body. It can sit there for a long time, and when they're ready to activate it, they can activate it. Yep. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. So even like the movie I Am Legend, how did that movie open up? Mm -hmm. Everybody, uh, they had came up, came up with a cure for cancer, mm. and everybody who took this injection <laughs> later on became a freaking zombie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't got uh, cancer no more, though. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> now, this stuff seems sci-fi, but are we headed towards these times? Where it's gonna be chaos outside, right. where there's gonna be zombies and you see robots and you're gonna see people half animals and half humans and it's gonna be become like a regular thing. And us, the born again believers, are gonna be the ones who know what them things are going against it, but we're gonna be the hunted ones. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be the cockroaches because right. we're phases. crazy. Right. Yeah, exactly. And we're trying to stop humanity from evolving into this newest utopia. I mean, understand? what we do know is that there's gonna be a persecution of the saints, bro, the persecution yeah, of the Christians, bro. bro. So why not brother. this? Bro? Absolutely, yeah. brother. Like all we're doing again is just you know, planting that light, you know what I mean? Understand and, that it could happen. And that's very important that you say that because we look at scripture superficially. And, and so we're not going to catch if we're not prayerful and we're not like seeing everything being critical in our thinking, we're going to miss prophecies being fulfilled yes, because sir. God will use something here in this world to fulfill a prophecy. Like how we talked about harp, mm. you know, and how and we're, how we're talking about that thing, the, the harm in the arm. 
Um, these all these things happening could be prophecies being fulfilled, mm -hmm. and we're, because we're just so incredulous and we don't believe, you know, we're nothing. Yeah, bro. And a lot of us think we're gonna be taken away, so it right. has to happen after, you know, just mis misrepresenting the word of God, you know. Right. So to come all the way back around to what what's what's taking place. I mean, touching every point when we think about it, right? Like the just shall live by faith not by sight absolutely <laughs> and like we can't trust our eyes so when these people they're looking at what may be regular humans as having demon faces right it's like until you, we know for sure if it's god who's allowing us to see things walking among us or man is messing with mankind right yeah. causing us to see things that aren't really there right it's going to be a troubling time on the earth. Absolutely. You know, and, and I mean, the scripture prepares us just for that. Yeah. You know, the signs in the heavens, right, marking sacred times of, of pinnacle things that are going to take place on yeah, the earth. Absolutely. And, and the word of God tells us, for those of us who trust in God, not to be terrified by those things the way the world is. Right. You know, and again, when no matter what we might see happening with our eyes, we know who's truly in charge and it doesn't give us the right to again fight and 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 become violent and change up what jesus called us to be uh -huh. love our enemies pray for those who persecute us when, you know if they if they take you into captivity into captivity you you're gonna go. go if you resist you're gonna die by yeah. the sword and god warns you you know and so but uh, and again either way whether we live or die, we live or die to the Lord. And so ultimately, you know, we, we want to encourage those who do not have a relationship with God, a relationship with the Lord Jesus to really evaluate their lives yeah. and to, and to come to, to grips with like, are you, are you, uh, certain <laughs> of what, of where you're headed? Right. Once you, take off this flesh once your soul leaves you know do you know what what takes place after that right you know and and that's ultimately where we want to put the focus on people yeah are you, you know? sure you know god doesn't exist are you sure about a hundred percent sure that jesus is a fairy tale you know are, are you a hundred percent sure because if you know if we're if if you're right then you know we die and nothing happens but if you're wrong you're going to be wrong for all of eternity God, right? a million years will be as day one right and you know and just a message you know for believers the stuff we're talking about seems uh like sci-fi but prepare yourselves to be ready for tribulation prepare yourselves for all these crazy things to start happening in the world false signs and wonders yeah false signs and wonders don't rely on you getting taken out of this world before any tribulation happens. We believe in a rapture. We just don't believe in a pre-trip rapture. We believe the saints will have to go through persecution and tribulation, but we will not go through God's wrath. And I say that because I want to read one scripture that talks about the times before Jesus comes and how the world is going to be. It says, uh, Luke 21, 25 to 28, it says, and there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken then they will see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory now when these things begin to happen look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near mm. so i want to highlight where it says uh the, the earth the distress of the nations what is going on in these times in the world that is it's this crazy mm. are we gonna see reptilians are we gonna see spiritual beings bunch of robots shapeshifters how crazy is it gonna be and this is right before the lord comes back right he's like bro if i don't come down no man will be saved For real. You feel me yep and um these things are not far-fetched shape-shifting not far-fetched we already see celebrities performing and their faces are changing. There's been numerous of testimonies where people are at concerts saying, bro, I was at this concert and the artist's face was changing, like right. it looked demonic. So 
this stuff is not crazy guys so don't 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 just bury it and act like it can't go down you know and number one man believers let this be a time of of thinking deep like brother rob says if you guys are wrong you guys have everything to lose christ is lord and these things are all true prophecy will be fulfilled right so i encourage the believers to stay strong prepare yourself mm -hmm. for tribulation mm -hmm. non-believers keep on digging for the truth humble yourself and be able to receive the truth when it actually comes to you okay everybody we'd like to thank you for coming here and fellowship with us this is just going to be a short episode we just wanted to touch on a few things and again um question everything it's always the sermon of deception you know we're in that time now so it's always key to be focused so you know um all truth is important because the truth has set you free yes. all truth leads to christ yeshua said i am the way the truth and the life Till next time so this is brother rob uh jesus is the only answer if you're not 100 percent sure seek the lord seek the truth don't lean on your own understanding this is the most important thing to take from this all is that we all have to sit down with christ with jesus and make a decision on who is Christ, what did he do, is it true? And if it's true, you got to make a decision. Not making a decision is making a decision. And we can't shape, we got to stop shaping and molding God to conform to our image and allow him and just surrender. It's most important. Christ, man. What's good? Besides God, that's nothing. I'm Juni. As always, I pray this episode bless you. And like the brothers are saying, man, keep your eyes, keep your ears open, you know, Christ is at the door and things are happening and don't be one of those people that are just uh you know partying and going on with life like 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 if these things are not gonna happen they are gonna happen and just be ready man so um I pray again this episode blessed you and I'm Juni and I'm gonna tell you the truth whether you like it or not God bless I'm Jason God bless y'all may the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. God bless you.